Hi guys, I'm Muhammad Usman. Today, our today's topic is uh, storage spaces, which is uh, in servers. In server manager, you just need to go to file and storage services, which are pre-installed already in server. So here, we'll, we'll go for the storage pool. We are talking about storage pool today. So, so in storage pool, you will get a physical disk here. They are automatically directed. I did not do anything for these hard drives. So they are 5 GB, 5 GB, 5 GB. We will go to create a new disk pool. We will create a pool name like P13 disk 5 GB each. So we'll go for the next and we can select multiple all hard drives or how much we want. It does not matter. If you have multiple hard drives, like 10 hard drives, you can select 3 for one pool, another 3 for another pool, or it's better to use one big pool. It's up to you. So, you can select any of the hard drives that is a hard spare or automatic or whatever. Automat manual will be always used. Automatic can be hard spare or, or the uh, actual disk. So, you can leaving automatic all of them is a lot better than making them manual and hard spare. So automatic will click for the next and then we'll create. It will create a storage space or it will create a disk pool. So it will create all this from here. You can click here and create a lot to directly. You can create a virtual disk out of this uh, disk pool, but we will make it manually. Okay, there is our storage pool. These are our physical hard drives. There is our storage pool here. We don't have any virtual disk now. We can create a virtual disk inside this pool. What is the benefit of this virtual disk? You can these use this virtual disk inside your PC like uh, like your wall uh, hard drive. So after creating this we can add it like a hard drive so here is the name of vd1 for example and we'll go for the next you can create a mirror volume like you know like rate simple volume will be maximum space mirror volume will take a double of space and give you high availability even if one hard drive or two hard drive goes down but for two you need at least if you have two hard drives physical hard drives like we have three you have a single disk failure if you have five hard drives you have two disk failures so like parity is like uh, red five you need three for one disk failure seven for two disk failure but you uh, the storage will be more than a mirror so we will go for mirror it's just for practice it does not matter for what you want it depends at your requirement so you will we will go for thin thin is the better because you know the volume use space from the storage pool equal to the volume size it will use now it will be equal to the volume size but thin can be i mean like uh, if you make a hard drive of 5 gb it will not use 5 gb from the pool it will use 5 gb when you will put the data inside 5 gb so thin will be better like uh, you know expandable hard drive and fixed size hard drive so thin provisioning is better so next here here if we have only 12 gb but this doesn't matter here we, you can have for example 60 4 db or we will 6 db we will make it db we can make it db so this does not matter. I mean, you will be surprising that our total storage is 12 GB and we are configuring, we are making a virtual disk of size 6 GB. How is that possible? Because this is thin provisioning hard drive. It doesn't need 6 GB now to be up or wide. It will use only few KBs or MBs. As you keep putting data inside, it will expand its size. So by the time, you can put data inside and later you can add more hard drives to the storage. So you can take this storage pool up to more than 6 TB. So your hard drive will never be full. 
and you can have any operating system or anything inside virtual this virtual disk or anything what you want to keep it secure like something like bootable or recovery drives or something so in such scenarios your disk will not be full and it will work fine so you know when disk come becomes full what happens Save next and create it will create a virtual disk it created a virtual disk we can create a volume from here directly but we can go manually to create this volume close so here we go this is our mirror thin provisioning 6 dB and 512 MB is allocated only so now you can create a new volume with the size of for example the small size or anything and even you know you can expand the size of uh, your volumes or you can decrease the size of volumes now we will go for 5 GB only for the 5 GB only for the volume the rest of the space we will use later anytime this is just for test so 5 GB will be enough so this way you can create a volume you can save I mean use it and you it's formatted also yes so this is done close here it will go we got a volume like uh, in and disk manage the uh, disk management yes we can see that we have one hard drive which is 60 b 60 b and we made a five volume for a volume of 5 gb only and the rest of the space is remaining so we can create anytime one more volume from here like next vo volume one more refresh from this disk next uh, we'll make 5 gb again and 5 gb again next uh, okay f next it's gonna finish create now and we will see inside here that we will get one more volume inside disk management yes here see there is f one more and you can again like you can if you have one from one pool one the other one from other pool like this you can make them i mean mirror volume this but for mirror volume you need to do a lot of c shrink volume extend volume after this you can get the options there are options of mirroring volume but no need here hope you like the video uh, please subscribe for my channel vit academy it helps me upload more video to help you guys and it keeps it uh, enhances my interest uh, please subscribe for my channel and if you have any question or if you want to know anything you can send me text or uh, email whatever uh, see you later with the new videos upcoming videos inshallah will be better than these bye bye